Hi, this is Paula J from Secure and welcome to another Secure Hacks episode. This time we're going to be talking about how to manage user accounts in the feature of Azure, which is Azure Conditional Access. It is important to control how your users are accessing corporate resources, not only from where, but who is doing it, to what kind of applications and so on. Let's see how we can configure that. Let's dig in. Okay, so let's look what we got here. First of all, in order to be able to log in, uh, let's check first what is my IP address. And that's 192.40.59.235. And uh, over here, I'm just gonna submit uh, the regular user credentials. So that's the ABI Secure Ninja. And uh, let's put the password on, sign in, and uh, eventually we're gonna click no over here. So we are logging in regularly to office.com and that is basically what is the regular user's experience. Now I'm going to get into portal azure.com and let's get into the conditional access. So over here we are able to set up various policies of access and first we're going to add the IP ranges location where we're going to define a certain range uh, to which we're going to assign the policy. So first let's put the name so it's going to be the corporate IP range and uh, at that point we're going to specify what are the IP addresses related with that location. So this is a trust location and it's 185.53 and so on. Yeah, so we're going to do that. So this is our corporate set that we are uh, by default trusting. So uh, yeah, trusted, yes, we can see all is good. So when we're going to go to conditional access, we can create over here a new policy and let's put the name for the policy. So you can see it's actually pretty easy. So uh, that's going to be the only sign in from corporate um, IPs. And uh, over there we have a couple of assignments, um, so conditions. So here we can specify what kind of users and groups are here um, related with the policy. And uh, we can specify the CA logon from corporate IPs, exclude users and groups. And over there, we're going to set up break glass account. That is technically our backup over here. And that we are adding that one as an exclusion. So this is um, something that is also an important part of a setup, just to make sure all goes well, well, all things go wrong. So um, over here, all cloud apps and eventually... Um, we can set up the conditions as well, the locations, for example, configure yes. And over there, we can set up any location and exclude, for example, selected locations. And here we are spe specifying the corporate IP range and include eventually any location, exclude corporate IP range. And if it's about a uh, grant over here, then we are blocking access. We got also the possibility to grant under certain conditions. This time we are turning on the policy and we are creating it. So this is a very simple setup uh, that assures us the sign in only from the corporate IPs. Now we're going to also add one more policy over here and that's the enforce multi-factor authentication and session controls. And uh, that uh, also depends on who we're going to be signing in. So select users and groups. And here we're going to specify a certain group that we got over here. MFA and session controls. That's the one. And eventually exclude and users and groups. So same story as last time. Here we are specifying the break glass account. So uh, let's select that guy and eventually um, the next part over here, the cloud apps. Here we are specifying the all cloud apps and we got a possibility to configure conditions as well. Locations, yes, and uh, at that point include any location, grant, and here we've got a possibility to grant access but require multi-factor authentication. And here you can also specify all selected controls. And the next part, if we go to session, you've got a possibility to set up that also the sign-in frequency. So that's the seven days, for example. So this is um, like the timing. Every certain time we're going to be applying, checking uh, the controls. Yeah. So this is also 
uh, assurance of a bit of a comfort here. So um, eventually we are applying the policy, creating the policy, uh, and um, these two policies we're going to be testing right now. We've got a what if possibility, and that's pretty cool because you can specify um, the certain condition under which this policy will or would not work. So you can see that we got an Abbey Secure Ninja, and then we are specifying the IP address 192.40.59.239. Eventually, we can choose the country that this user is going to be signing from. So let's say United States. And at that point, uh, we've got any cloud app and we can verify what if. So if the user is in these conditions, then these policies would be applied if, of course, that situation um, would happen. So here we got a block access and require multi-factor authentication. But if we change the IP address. So for example, we're going to specify the corporate IP address and we're going to choose a country, Poland, at that point, and the user is going to be the Abbey Secure Ninja. Then we can verify what if, and in this case, we can see that there is only multi-factor authentication required and the policy regarding the location would not apply because of the IP address. So here, what we're going to do? Well, let's test it. We've got a portaloffice.com and uh, we will be logging over here as Abby Secure Ninja. So let's put the password. So here we go. And then sign in. And eventually here you are able to see that because of the IP address that we had, we cannot access our portal right now. And that's the, that's the policy rule that is related with the IP addresses. And over here we can get into a little bit more details. Why not? So eventually, uh, in order to look at it from a little bit different angle, here you are able to see that there is an IP address that has been not allowed uh, to sign in. But of course, if we're going to change the location, and let's do that right now. So we've got uh, right now the uh, IP address that is our corporate IP, then basically we are easily able to sign in as Abby Secure Ninja. So let's repeat this step. But this time it's going to be a little bit different. Here we have to provide more information because that's the requirement for the multi-factor authentication. And uh, that's why we are getting redirected to my sign-ins portal. Then there is a request for the Microsoft Authenticator setup. And then we are able to set up that particular app, for example. And at that moment, every single time we're going to be signing in, that's this multi-factor by using Microsoft After Authenticator app and uh, we are able to sign in. So under these conditions, we are able to specify conditional access. That's pretty cool. We can also go into the dashboard here. So we've got an Abbey Secure Ninja uh, where we are able to review and that's pretty uh, cool. Different places, different locations, policies under which this user was or was not able to log in and you are able to see exactly why. Access has been blocked by conditional access policies and then eventually you are able to see as well what kind of policy that was. You can see the location, IP address and so on and also whether the user actually logged in or not. And eventually here, uh, for example, we were able to sign in from Warsaw and status success. You were able to see the location as well. That's this corporate IP that we're looking at and the conditional access. You were able to policies that were technically applied or not applied depends on the conditions that we are seeing over here. That's enough for today. Make sure you use these hints for good. You can get more cybersecurity tips on our blog at secureacademy.com slash blog. There are loads of cool stuff there, including other Hacks episodes, useful tools to download and security hints. See you there.